Tomorrow, President Obama heads to India to try to convince more than a billion striving people to cut their greenhouse gas emissions. The new Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, has vowed to start more solar projects, but have a look at what Seth Doan found. Coal powers the majority of the 800-plus factories here in Vapi, a city that's a four-hour drive north of Mumbai unless you're with Raju Shroff. This is a nice way to commute. This is how Shroff, a billionaire businessman, commutes to his plant, United Phosphorus. Among other things, he makes pesticides, some for sale in the U.S., and employs 3,000 people in India. We have millions of people still jobless in India, and unless we develop industry, unless we increase employment, there will be a problem. Industrial development comes, though, at a cost to the environment, doesn't it? If we are serious, we can do most fast industrial development and we can still control the environment. Shroff applauds his Prime Minister friend Modi for lowering what he calls barriers to business. Regulations have been rolled back to allow factories to expand, even in polluted areas. I think climate change is really hogwash. Climate will change whether it is industrialization or no industrialization, it's going to happen. As long as that is your view, can the world expect India to be really serious about the environment? India is very serious about environment. We are working hard. We have a prime minister now who is very, very particular about climate change and about environment. In December, India pledged, along with 200 countries, to develop a plan to cut greenhouse gases. But with its population expected to grow by 400 million people by 2050, the reality is more plants powered by coal will be needed to meet demand. Seth Doan, CBS News, Vapi, India.